when you start rapping uh i had started i had started rapping for real for real i would say senior year but i was really coming into the works of my writing and i would say eighth grade really kind of picked it up ninth grade made like a little little something on iMovie just to see how it would sound sent it to a couple people they was like bro this shit actually hard i like your flow and i'm like yeah shit for my like first quote unquote song like that's kind of that's Damn, hard because you progress. actually went through artist development. Artists ain't right. going through artist development no more right. like that. Like they just getting in the studio and catching one, and, 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 and it's going up. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, you know what I mean, so I respect that because it's like honestly, with people in the music industry, you got two types. You got people who just trying to make the hits, and you got mm-hmm. people who really just in it to money. make the music. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. So it's me. Like with me, I'm already knowing the money gonna come. But like this is something like this is not just a job. Like this is a passion. This is something I just love doing. So the fact I'm making a song is strictly because I love doing it. I'm already knowing it's going to give it that uh, substance. It's going to get that feel because it's like I've heard what a good so- a good song sounds like. So now I know how to make a good song. Yeah. Right. And that's so the you, beauty of it. You one of the ones, you just go in the studio and just, you just go. You don't even worry about trying to actually like, Perfect. let me try to make a hit. Let me... Oh God! Like let's just, let's just see just what go. we let's just see what we can do. Like let's just see what right. just comes out of the noggin. Like honestly, like we might fuck around, roll up, you know, quick smoke, see what we just everything just comes out come out the dome. It's right. just beautiful. See with that, do y'all have like a um like a time limit? Y'all, do y'all you said you it was a house setup, so maybe not. It depends. It depends on who I'm recording with. Sometimes okay. you got people who do more professionalized work so they doing with other people and stuff like that so they got a time limit okay they doing 20 now i'm like all right cool i'll know to already have the beat ready already have my lyrics ready so i don't have to waste no time oh so, <laughs> yeah and then other people it's like uh when i was making the harrington in you know that was me and my boy hunter we was we was just in there you know doing the music fucking around just, just having some fun you know what i'm saying because that's really what it's all about and it's like yeah. people who really fuck with me they're like all right cool i'm like Maybe this time I'm have you charge. The next time I just fuck with you. You know, it really just depends. Okay, because I feel like that's when the most magic come out when you just when you have time to really sit down. Not really sit down, but like you know, unwind, smoke, get you. You know what I'm saying? Get in a little mindset and oh, to, instead of just in that mode. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Instead of just going in the eye, right, I gotta go straight down to business. Right. Sometimes it be like that though. You gotta get them ideas out because if you don't, somebody gonna create it and they might. They might come up off your the same idea you had, and you are gonna be like, "Damn, I should have did that." I, I I understand that, but that's I, I was so talking about as far as like immediately stuff that I already got written down. You know, what I'm saying I can't yeah. really just just go in there and just all right, let me sit here. You know, what I'm saying smoke me some, drink me some. Okay, I'm thinking the song now. You know, what I'm saying when I go in there, I gotta be like, all right, let me already prepare. You know, what I'm saying mm-hmm. like, let me do the all right. That's on down. Boom. That's on that. You don't really get time to unwind and just you know like. Not necessarily say freestyle, but you right. know, free think. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? That's right. what I So I'm so with your with your um recording process, Malik, do you um do you more focus on like having your stuff prepared or do you do like punch ins or do you like how how, how, how your recording process go? For the for the most part I like to have my shit written out because I would say like the first time I went to a unofficial studio but kind of studio, like I was really waiting on five niggas for five hours just for them to put out one verse. And I was like, bro, I'm never going to be in this position again. When I come yeah, to the studio, no. I'm having my shit ready. <laughs> <Right>. yeah, <laughs> but Engineers like, look at you weird like sometimes about that shit too, though. Where, like, I get one hour, but five? Like, that's just taking two. That's insane. Damn, <laughs> that's crazy. I done seen that myself. <laughs> like, that's crazy. But, like, but like sign artists, they'll be in the studio all day, don't do one song. Oh God. <laughs> I'm like, bro, that ain't, nah, we're going to get something together. Oh, God. On, it ain't going to be the best, we're going to finish the song. Were they attempting a song and they ain't getting that done? Or they were nah, just it'll just be like, they'll be unscared. The, 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 they, not unscared, but they'll be like fearful to say what they think, you know, what they done created, wrote down, or whatever. I don't know. Amazing. Or writer's block. You never know. Oh, no, that writer's block. That writer's block. Joke. Crazy, man. That's, that's right. tough. Vicious. Yeah, that's when the right. read get the flow and the drink get the porn. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah, but get out that writer's the block. Creative man. juice get the kicking for oh, real. God. But I would say, like, shoot, if I got most of my shit down, I'd be like, all right, I'll just cook something up as I go. Because I'm already knowing I, all I got to do is just piggyback off of what I already wrote. For sure. So, you shit like wait. that. So, when somebody listening to your music, how would you want them to feel, though? Like, now that depends on the way I want that. Like that's the way. Shit, let me rephrase. 
that it really depends on how I want them to feel on mm-hmm. the song. Cause like usually I have a song that might be about one thing, drop another song, and it's a whole completely different vibe, sound, feeling. So if I'm expecting people to feel hype on one song and then you get hype, I'm like, all right, bet. I mean, shoot, hell yeah. And if I'm like on some sentimental shit and you're like, bro, I'm really feeling this, like for real, I'm like, hell yeah. For sure. That's the plan. Oh, oh God. Like that that just puts a smile on my face knowing that I was doing what I was thinking of doing, knowing what I know was gonna do, and then motherfuckers doing it. And I know. So that's that's beauty. So you sound like you sound like you're a versatile artist. So yeah. like what what type of music is your go to? Like you like the vibes, you like the turn up, you like the, the, the female music, like I mean, so honestly, like, for the most part, I like writing lyrical shit just to see what, like, crazy verse I can cook up. Like, I have made this one song <clears throat> called Heru based on my middle name. And, like, when motherfuckers heard that, they was like, yo, this is this is some different shit. So I told myself, lyrically-wise, rapping-wise, I got to surpass this song. I got to make a verse better than this song. Mm, so you trying to, you competing with yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Just making sure we better than the person we was yesterday. That's hard. Sure. That's hard. You got any mentors? Pull you down. Man, man? Uh, I would say my pops, R.I.P. Long live. Okay. Sure. He taught me everything okay. I needed to know. Uh, my yeah. mom, she also, you know, paid the way, hold it down, all that. So, and also a lot of people like... Uh, one of her friends from Detroit, Sam, taught me everything I need to know when it comes to, you know, managing your own self, managing your life, managing your time and all that. So it's just like a lot of I, I really grew up talking to a lot of older people. Show, so show, it, came, it came with like, you know, wisdom at a young age. Motherfuckers be thinking I'm like pushing 30 and I'm like, nah, I'm, I'm only 19. You yeah, know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> hard, man. That's hard, bro. We need more young. I, I'm trying to stop saying young niggas. So I'm gonna say young fellas. <laughs> Need more young yeah, fellas yeah. out here like you like, man. That's that's hard. Mm-hmm. I mean, honestly, it's really just like if people are willing to listen. Like I think older people could learn from younger people because they living in a world that they not even in no more. Mm-hmm. So 